y'all and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited. It's Sunday. We are judging new makeup. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about. I've been pulling photos from Instagram all week. I've been looking at stuff, thinking about these new releases. All the Instagram accounts I pull from are of course linked down below, but I cannot wait to talk about some of these things with y'all. I've been shopping. <laughs> I've been buying things, some things I'm like, why? Why? So I can't wait to hear what y'all think of these. As always, we judge the makeup here. We never judge each other. If I hate a release, if I roast it, if I rip it to shreds verbally, and you love it and you wanna buy it, then guess what? I love it for you. We should all buy the makeup we wanna buy. We should all love the makeup we wanna love, 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 live. <laughs> The, 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 the listen, listen, I, I, I'm a little high energy all over the place today. I've been busy. I've been doing stuff. I think the world would be such a boring place if we all wore the same makeup, loved the same things, looked the same, talked the same, had the same accents, were from the same place, wore the same color. It would be boring. So we can totally disagree when it comes to makeup and we can still have a good time. If I hate something and you love it, then I love it for you. If you're new here, hey, <laughs> my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Now I do upload lots of new videos every single week. So if you're looking for new fun makeup videos, this is the place to be because I upload a lot a lot and I love it. So we have a lot of new releases to talk about. I'm going to slide my chair on over to the side so that I can pop up photos of these new releases. And honestly, I cannot wait to hear what y'all think of some of these things. If you were on a low buy or a no buy, hopefully my video can talk you out of the a few of these new releases. Maybe you can shop your stash. Or maybe if you're like me and you're like, bah, 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 bah. We can be in this together because I've bought a lot of stuff. So let me scooch over, slide my chair over, and let's get to judging. <music> just gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna randomly pull stuff. We are gonna talk about it because I'm gonna contradict myself a few times in this video. I know I am. I know I am. I know I am. So just get ready to be like, but you said that was boring, but you said you were gonna buy that. Like this, two plus two equals four, Heather, but you somehow did two plus two equals 732. I understand that. <laughs> It's going to be fun and I can't wait to hear y'all's thoughts. I'm just, oh, I'm so ready to judge today. So let's talk about this baby gold eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. Okay, $19. It's available for, available, available, available for pre-sale. Oh, I'm annoying myself. It's available for pre-sale on Natasha Denona now. It's coming online and in stores October 21st at Sephora. So... If you were shopping this for sale and you were like, yes, three Natasha Denona shades, got to have it. Perfect timing. $19 for three shades. If these are the three shades that you are like, yes, I need it. This is a great deal. I don't need this palette. So for me, it's a pass. But if, okay, if you've never tried Natasha Nona formula, you want to, this could be a good option. 19 bucks. And then with the Sephora sale, you can get, you know, between 10 and 20% off on it. Not bad. Not bad. Is this for me? No, because I, I, I like eyeshadow singles, duos, trios, quads. I would say quad is probably like the smallest I would like to go, but the three shades, Natasha Denona selected are good, right? We've got a mid-tone to light brown, a dark brown, and a gold. So if you're like, Heather, I like to do my makeup the same way every day. I like to put a transition shade, a shimmer, and a deepening shade. This is made for you. I think when I look at this palette, I can look at it and say, this is not made for me. This is not made for me. This is made for the person in Sephora shopping, seeing this on display and thinking, huh, I've never tried this brand. Let me buy this and try it. 
I think in that sense, it's very smart. Like if I were working for Natasha Denona, I would suggest that. I would be like, you know what, Natasha, we've got your big expensive palettes. We've got your midi palettes. We've even got these nice $27 palettes. But what if we just gave new customers a glimpse into what you do? I think this is smart. Is it for me? No. So my judgment is like great for somebody, great not for me. Not so great for me. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to buy this? Let me know. The shades are smart. I'm glad it wasn't just like three shimmer shades or three dark shades or three very light shades. Like I feel like within three shades, we have a little variety. It's not for me. Here's where you're going to be like, Heather, you hypocrite. And I understand this ColourPop C3PO palette. I have zero answers except for I have all the Star Wars palette. And listen to me, if ColourPop brings back the Star Wars palette, not the nine pants, but the Star Wars one that was like, what? How many pants was that? 16, 12, something. One of the best palettes that ColourPop has ever done. One of the best they've ever done. It's beautiful. Buy it. I'm not telling you to buy anything, but more like as a friend, like, Oh, you better buy it. Like, you don't have to buy it. Please don't ever feel like I'm telling you, you have to buy something. You know what I mean? That, please, never hear me say that. But that bigger Star Wars palette, like for me, I love it. And if we're sitting down having lunch, I'm like, you need to buy the palette. It's so good. That's what I mean when I say buy it, not like pressuring you. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm buying this palette because I have all the other Star Wars palettes. And my family, not me, but my family loves Star Wars. They're Star Wars fans. Y'all, when Angie and Ricardo came and visited us and stayed with us, Jackson was so happy because he had somebody to like really talk about Star Wars with besides my husband, you know? So I'm gonna buy this. I think it's cute. Okay. Is this gonna be a palette that I reach for all the time? No, but I'm gonna buy it and I will film a video for y'all if y'all wanna see it because it's C3. And it's cute. Okay, it's coming on to ColourPop on the 27th. So a little less than a week away. What is that Thursday? I'm gonna buy this and let's see. We have mostly shimmers. One, two, three, four, five shimmers. It looks like we have three mattes and then a matte with a sparkle. I like the mattes with the sparkle that ColourPop does. I think they're pretty cool. So I'm going to buy this. I do like that we have a really dark matte shimmer. We have some light mid-toned, no, I'm sorry, matte, matte shimmer. What is matte? Matte shade. A light matte shimmer and mid-tone mattes. A light, y'all, it's late in the day. Normally I film these videos kind of early in the morning, but I've been doing stuff today. I'm gonna buy this. Everything I talk about today, if I can link to it down below, I will link to it in the description box. If I can't find a link, I will put whatever information I have down there for y'all. So definitely check that out if you're curious. But Natasha Denona, not going to buy kind of an expansion of that color story from ColourPop. I am going to buy and C3PO is going to live next to my Baby Yoda Go Go palette and next to my Mandalorian palette and they're just going to chill and be happy together in my Darth Vader palette and they're going to be like battling it out. I don't know. I think it's cute so I'm going to buy it. Physicians Formula has some new items coming to Rite Aid. I don't think I have a Rite Aid anywhere near me. But I'm sure you could buy it online, right? I'm sure you could buy it online. I don't know. None of these items are intriguing to me at all. What do we have here? A contour palette. If that is one contour palette, maybe I'll drive to a right aid just so I could be like ugh, affronted by it. I don't know. Hopefully they came out with more than that because look at me. Look at me. Look at my face. You see me? I probably couldn't use the contour palette in this photo, but I'm not going to judge it because this is the only photo I've seen. I haven't been to a Rite Aid. Maybe there are more. There is Butter Glow Liquid Bronzer and Highlighters, um, Concealers, and Lip Pro... I don't know. Boring pass. Okay, from the drugstore. From the drugstore. From the drugstore. Elf. Elf's Holiday Collection. Now available on their website for Beauty Squad members. That's like basically you sign up to get their emails or whatever, you know. And let's talk about this. There's a lot of things, okay. Brush sets. 
I have a few elf brushes. I think they're nice. Are they my favorite brushes? No, but they're so inexpensive. So I think they're nice. That is a lot of lip gloss, a lot of lip gloss, but if you had like three different people that you were gift giving to, you know, and you could give them each like three glosses and you could keep one for yourself, maybe. The liquid shadows, that is a lot. But I want to talk about the eyeshadow palette. It's a no for me, dog. There, there's no depth in that palette. There's no depth in that palette. The matte shades, we have a matte periwinkle, a matte lavender, a matte peach, and a matte mint tone brown. And then we have three shimmery blues and a shimmery white and a shimmery champagne. So it's a no for me. But we've, but you know what? I, I still think it's cute. I, when I look at it, I get very like 90s frosted vibes. But it's a no for me. I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't want it. Okay, let's talk about something I bought, and that's this Lunar Beauty release. Now, let's kind of talk about it, because I never buy advent calendars, because I'm like, no. I, like, no. <laughs> Unless one of my favorite brands says it's an advent calendar of exclusive things, and then I'm like, you want to do a bank draft? You want my credit card? You do PayPal? like what, how you want the money. So Lunar Beauty, first of all, they're launching two new lip oils with more tint to them. I bought both of those. I had to have them. I love the lip oils. I've emptied two of them and repurchased. Okay. So I bought both the lip oils. I do have a code with Lunar Beauty. You can use code Heather to save. Thank you so much. If you do, I used my own code, not even going to lie. I used my own code when I bought this, but let me, let me tell you what Manny MUA, who is the owner of Lunar Beauty. Lunar Beauty is an indie brand. It's not a creator brand that is over, like has a parent company over it or these huge investors. No, it is Manny MUA, the independent owner of Lunar Beauty. So it's an advent calendar. You get an empty magnetic palette, but it's not just open space. It has the spots for the shadows. And then you have 12 shadows that come in the palette. And in Manny's video, he only showed three of the shades and I'm so happy he did that because I cannot wait till I get mine in and I see the shades and I get to play with them. I was so happy that he only did three. I saw some people were not happy about that and I kind of understand, but I feel like that's the fun of an advent calendar, right? You kind of don't know everything that you're going to get. But he did say up front, like, it's not going to be repeated shades. These are new shades. So I personally, like, as somebody who has been supporting and buying from Lunar Beauty for years, I'm really, really, really excited about that. And I'm really looking forward to, I'm not going to watch any videos or anything until I get my box and I test it. But after that, I can't wait to see what other people do, like how they lay out shadows, because it's a lot, like it's a big thought process of how you want the shadows to be laid out. I remember when I was collabing, I have a collab palette with Adept Cosmetics. If you're new here, hey, it's the best palette in the world. Anyways, part of that process was figuring out where I wanted the shadows to go in the palette, how I wanted to put them, what shades I wanted to put next to get like next to each other, what shades I wanted far apart from each other. And I'm looking forward to having this bundle of singles that I get to decide the layout for. I think that's going to be fun. I'm definitely going to do a video on this with a look, swatches, all of that stuff. The palette also, the empty magnetic palette looks really nice. It has a mirror and everything. So I'm overall extremely, extremely excited for this release. I think it's very fun. And if you didn't watch the video, I'll just like, I have to say, I give a lot of credit and respect and admiration to Manny because in the video he said he got these calendars in and he was like, basically like quality checking them, right? He's looking at them like, yeah, let me make sure it's good for my customers. And one of the shadows, he was like, this is not the shadow that I approved. Like, this is not the formula. This shadow is not right. So he said he reached out to whoever, the manufacturer or what lab, whatever, I don't know. And was like, this isn't what we agreed upon. So 
everybody who gets this calendar is also getting a single shadow because he wants to send out the shadow that he approved. So instead of getting 12 shadows, you're getting 13. And I really admire that because he didn't have to say that. He could have just said, you know what, these calendars are ready. It's time to launch them. One of the shadows isn't going to be, you know, the best in my opinion, but I'm sending it out anyways. The customer won't know that because he didn't reveal all the shadows. So I have to say, I think it takes a lot of integrity as a brand to say, I quality checked this and this one shadow was not up to my standards. So instead of scrapping everything, I'm sending you a bonus shadow. I just, I really, really admire that. I love to see people be transparent with things like that. And I just, I mean, it made me love the brand even more. I already love the brand, let's be honest, but it made me love the brand even more and say, there's there's somebody who is doing it right and is being transparent with not just the customers because he also could have put a note in the box for the people that bought it, but he's letting you know before you even make your purchase. Because I wanna say his video was uploaded, uploaded to days before the launch and so he's letting you know right away before you even purchase that this is what's going to happen and I have a lot of respect for that I have a lot of respect for that so I know this is a very limited edition palette I'm pretty sure he said that in his video if I misspeak I do apologize but I'm excited about this like I said I had my alarm set I was on the site and I did buy uh all the new stuff and I'm excited about it and I'll have a video coming. I absolutely love Lunar Beauty and I just think this is one of the funnest releases. Okay, so Jouer has released liquid shadows. Paris Lights Eye Paints Liquid Shadow. Four metallic shades for $24 each. I don't know. Is it kind of a snooze fest? Um, I think I like to see when brands expand their lines, right? When they come out with new products, and I understand not everything's gonna be exciting, you know what I mean? But I like to see a brand expand into new things. I just, I don't know. We have a yellowy, like yellowy champagne shade, a pinky shade, a bronze, and kind of like a mauve tone. I don't know, 24 bucks. I don't feel like I need it. I mean, they look cute, but again, it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm not the target customer for this. And for that, I'm thankful because I can't buy everything. I can't buy everything. We say it every week. I can't buy everything. I don't, maybe you can buy everything. Maybe you're like, you know, Daddy Warbucks over there and you've just got money coming out of your eyeballs and you're like, buy all the makeup. I can't do that. Plus I only have one face and I like to wear the makeup I buy. So for me, this is a pass. Um, I know I just said I can't buy everything, but I did buy this. So this is the re-released, relaunched Unearthly Cosmetics Low Light Palette. It's been gone for so long. I'm actually wearing the original today. I'm wearing the shade Low Light, that shade up in the top corner. The Low Light Palette may have been ahead of its time. It launched and I feel like everybody was still on this like natural colored, neutral colored, bronze gold champagne type of highlight shade you know colorful highlighters have made a comeback in a big way and I'm here for it I actually bought low light when it first launched I have it here again I'm wearing low light today but let me show you actually one shade has been changed so if you have the original low light I don't think you need to go out and buy this you don't need anything oxygen water well not oxygen technically air you need air. If we just had oxygen, your lungs would collapse. Um, <laughs> over time, over time, listen, I'm a respiratory therapist. The science has to come out sometimes. All we need is air, food, clothing, shelter. Some of us, like me, need medication to survive as well. What I'm saying is, if you have the low light like I do, maybe you don't need to run out and get this. The only shade that's different is down there at the bottom, laser beam in the older palette we have this shade right here and that shade has been swapped out so I did order the new one because I love low light so much the formula is so good those of y'all who've been at my channel for a while are like yeah girl we know you love low light 
be quiet about it. We heard you. <laughs> but I do love it so much. I think the formula is beautiful. I know Unearthly, when it first released, was saying that they really wanted to create something that works for deeper skin. And I think this palette does. Everybody I see it on, I'm like, wow, so beautiful. But it also works for all skin tones. <laughs> I've never seen it on somebody that I'm like, oh, you shouldn't be wearing that. Of course not. I love it. I bought it. I do have a code with Unearthly as well. The code is Heather. I'll link this and list this in the description box. But just so you know, I went onto the Unearthly site and bought it because it's pretty. Makeup by Mario has launched new mini lip kits. You get a lipstick and a lip liner for $20 each. Um, I think it's pretty. These are soft matte finishes. So we have red mauve nude and pink nude i think these are really cute i really like the lip liners from makeup by mario i think i have two or three i had bought one and i loved it so much i bought another i think they're a really nice formula i've never tried his bullet lipsticks but i heard they're really good so let me know have you tried his bullet lipstick matte formula is it great let your girl know scooby dooby doo where are you now i know where you are you're on your way to me well at least i bought it i don't think it's shipped yet <laughs> But a girl can hope. We talked, I think about two weeks ago, that Glamlight said like they're collabing with Scooby-Doo, but we didn't know much. Now we have the full collection reveal. The launch has been done. I do have a code with Glamlight. It's Heather Austin, but I did buy the full collection myself. I was looking. It launched at 10 a.m. CST on Saturday, and I'm like this, looking at the clock as it's 9.58, 9.59. And as soon as it hit 10, I was like, refresh. And I bought the full collection. I'm so excited. I know a couple of y'all tagged me that you use my code on this. Thank you so much. If you ever use my code, thank you. Also, you being here, you clicking on the video, you watching supports me more than you know. So thank you so much. But let's kind of talk about the items because I am so excited for this. I'm so excited for this. They did a great job. I saw a lot of people saying like, where's the rest of the cast? Like, where's Daphne? Where's Velma? Where's, where's Scrabby-Doo? And I did see, I can't remember where I saw Glamlight say this, but they were saying right now they just were able to license Scooby and Shaggy and that hopefully, you know, maybe one day they can do the rest of the cast. So I would love to see that high hopes for Halloween 2023 also, but these palettes look really, truly beautiful. We've got a more purple blue palette. We've got a more green blue palette. It looks like we have some duochrome shifty type shades in there. I bought everything. The highlighter looks very intense, very sparkly. And I just want to say again, hello. My name is Heather. I love a sparkly highlight. Bathe me in sparkles and shimmers and shift, and I will be happy. It's who I am on the inside, <laughs> is glitters and sparkles. This looks so cool. I cannot wait. Yeah, I bought it all. We also have new lip products. I really like the Glamlight Lipstick Formula. I think that's always amazing. I loved the Michaela. Glam Light Highlighter Palette was so shifty and so sparkly. So I'm excited for the highlighters. We've got, listen, we've got um, eyeliner and let's see, am I missing it? The mascara. I'm very excited about the mascara. I love mascara. I love testing new mascaras. I love trying new mascaras. So to see one of my favorite brands, Glam Light, coming out with a mascara, you bet your bottom dollar I bought it. I'm making a lot of Annie references in this video, which is a bit odd because I hate musicals. I hate all of that, but I have seen Annie a few times. So I bought it. I bought, it's called the bat scara. That's so cute. I love, I love bats. I actually wanted to build bat houses in our backyard because they're so wonderful and they help so much with like insects and stuff. But bat houses, like it's very specific. It's very expensive to buy them pre-made. Anyways. The name Batscara, adorable. I bought the whole collection. I can't wait. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Like, I cannot wait. I'm so excited for this collection. Y'all know I'm going to create a look with these. I'm going to swatch. I'm going to review. I can't wait. Okay, this is cool. Uh, available now, Lime Crime Velveteen's Lip Vault. So, 
These are the OG Velveteen's Liquid Lipsticks from 2012, 2015, 2017. They were retired shades and now they're back for a limited time. So I kind of thought about buying these actually because I, I feel like I would feel cool when I wear these. Do you have like a clothing item, a jewelry piece, a makeup palette, something that when you pull it out, you're like, yeah, I am so cool. I'm so, and I just feel like if I had these, I would be like, cool. You know, like if I put that gray shade, what is that cement? Y'all, I literally saw these on Instagram. I was like, I want to buy these. And I talked myself out of it. I was like, Heather, 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 Heather. No, no, no. Can't buy it. But now I'm talking to y'all and I feel like y'all are convincing me that I need to buy these. I know it's going to happen. I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to import this photo. I'm going to link it for y'all in the description box and I'm going to buy it. And I'm blaming it on y'all. Y'all have to take the blame for this. I blame you for this. Hey, you watching? I blame you because the more I look at this, I need this. I really want to mix the shade Squash and Suede Berry. Maybe I could like buy these and lip swatch these. That's not the worst idea I've ever had in my life. I blame y'all. I blame you for every cent I spend on these. Lancome and Bare Brick new lipsticks. Is this adorable or what? This is adorable. Yeah. I'm not going to buy it, but it's adorable. Coming soon to their website in the U.S., but it's available now in Europe and Asia. So if you're living in Europe and Asia, you can go ahead and get your hands on these. Very, very cute, but I'm not going to buy it again. I can't buy everything. I just talked myself into a whole set of Lime Crime lipsticks. I can't buy this, but they're very cute. Okay, Refer brushes. I was very excited. I saw that Refer was coming out with new brushes, and I was like, I'm going to buy those. And then Refer said they're going to send me these. I'm excited. So I'll definitely let you know what I think of these brushes. If you want me to, I can definitely let you know. I have some other Refer brushes I love. I remember I would hear people talk about Refer all the time and I would be like, okay, I got to try Refer. And they live up to the hype. I think they're amazing. Uh, they are made in Japan. And I have this set. So we'll try it out together. Let me know. Do you love Refer? I do. Okay, BK Beauty is also a brush brand that I love. And I know I already used these in a video this week. Was that, I think, I, my, my get ready with me that I posted last week, I used these brushes and they're great. BK Beauty makes really good brushes. They're synthetic brushes. BK Beauty, if you don't know, it's created by the content creator, YouTuber, Lisa J. And B stands for beauty, K stands for kindness, and the whole brand is about positivity, being kind is beautiful, being nice is beautiful, and I love that. And BK Beauty, I feel like they put a lot of thought into the brushes they launched. They put a lot of thought into the shape. The quality is amazing. I bought BK Beauty brushes, I want to say maybe three years ago and I'm still using them. They wash well, they dry, they're beautiful. High quality brushes should last you a very long time. And I have to say, I, I love BK Beauty brushes. In fact, I was just recommending them to um, someone was asking me about like, you know, independently owned brands and stuff. And I was like, well, you should definitely check out BK Beauty. And I know that they got them and they're really happy with their purchase. I think these are just really, 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 really nice. Okay, let's talk about the ColourPop Enchanted collection. There's a lot of things launching with that. I'm pretty sure it's going to launch at Ulta today, so I'll link it at Ulta down below if I can. But the neutral palette looks very pretty. The other items in the collection, very pretty. But that purple palette, that bottom row, this is where I'm telling myself, can't buy everything, can't buy everything. Heather, you cannot buy everything. But I think that's very beautiful. It looks like it goes very light to very dark. I think it's a really, really pretty collection. We've had quite a few ColourPop releases to talk about this week, which is kind of unusual. But I know last week, you know, last weekend I was in Austin, Texas. So I did not get to talk about everything. So let's talk about this next, like, not a box of chocolates palette from ColourPop. This is not for me. Again, that C3PO palette, I'm only buying it because it's C3PO. You know what I'm saying? So this color story isn't necessarily for me. I 
I really enjoy neutrals. I'm wearing neutrals today, kind of like cool tone neutrals and purples. This is pretty. I, I have to say, I don't need this, but it looks pretty. It goes very light to very dark. We have a nice array of shades. I think the size of the palette is very nice. Not too many, not too few shades. But what I think looks the coolest is these lip products. I was actually talking to my friend Karen Harris and she was like, those lip colors. I'm like, yeah, those lip colors look pretty. I hate the cream luxe lipstick. Absolutely not. Like, if those were the last makeup on earth, maybe I would use them, but I hate that formula. But they're, they're not the cream luxe. The bullet lipsticks I like, it's that other the Fresh Kiss. I think I've tried that before. Is that the one I hate? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fresh kiss. I can't remember. Forget me. Forget everything I just said. The bullet lipsticks are the ones I want, but I'm not making a purchase right now, but I may, may throw those into my cart at a later date if I'm ordering the C3PO palette. Possibly, maybe. Bella Beauty Bar. I love I love. I've tried several things from them now and I've loved it all. They are teasing a Fire and Blood collection of the Multichrome Flake Gels inspired by House of the Dragon. I am a huge Game of Thrones fan, 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 fan. I am the mother of dragons in case you didn't know. Hello. Maybe I should start putting that in my intro. But I have not started watching House of the Dragon because I want to binge it and I know myself. I'm like, season needs to be done. Me and my husband going to plan a date night to sit on the couch, eat some Chinese food, binge the show. These look beautiful. I need these, especially Sea Smoke. <sighs> especially all of the shades. Fire and Blood, forget about it. I need these. I'm going to buy these. Right now, all I see is coming soon, but maybe I could buy these and we could test them together. Let me know what you think. Okay. We have Disney Beauty Box from Ulta Beauty Collection. Uh, inspired by Epcot's Spaceship Earth, $30. You get an eyeshadow palette, face palette, brow trio, lip glosses, whew, four lip glosses, liquid blush, eyeshadow primer, shadow stick, eyeliner, brush, brush, brush. Okay, that's a lot of things. I think this is a cute gift for somebody just getting into makeup, maybe. You have some Disney stuff, you know, like maybe a cute gift for a preteen or something that wants some makeup. Or maybe you were like, I am a Disney adult. I'm a Disney fan. I'm going to buy this. It's not for me. It could be for you, though. I'll link it down below. I think, like, it's cute. I get it. It's not for me. Glass slipper collection. Bla glass slipper makeup brush holder. This is so cute. Spectrum and Disney. Spectrum is like a collab brand, right? They're always collabing for stuff. Always, always collabing on things. Uh, Seven Priest brush set, uh, Magic Happens, makeup quads, uh, blushes, brush storage, blush cleanser. This is cute. I don't need anything in this collection. I can't buy everything. I can't but it's cute, right? What do you think? I don't know. I feel like it's not overly Cinderella because I don't, I mean, it is, but it's not, you know what I mean? Like it's not cartoony. It's very cute, but I'm not buying it. Okay. Let's talk about this Makeup Revolution and Shrek collection because I like Shrek. I think Shrek is fun. Shrek is himself. I enjoy Shrek. Okay. This collection is so large, it's overwhelming to look at. It's easy to scroll right past. I know that because this is what I do, judge new releases with you every week, I'm looking at things more than the average consumer. I would think that's safe to say. If you're here, if you're a makeup lover, maybe you're feeling the same. Like you look at things more than maybe like the average makeup consumer would. If I'm scrolling, I see this, I'm overwhelmed because we have seven palettes, seven palettes. The coolest one to me is the one that is shaped like Shrek. I wish it wasn't shaped like Shrek, but I think the color story makes more sense. It, it's, it's just very overwhelming to me to look at. It's, it's very overwhelming, but I have to say the other items, genius. Whoever came up with everything aside from the palettes, Makeup Revolution, give them a raise. 
give them an extra week of vacation, whatever you gotta do to keep them around. Because a Shrek mud mask, genius, genius. The highlighter, gingerbread man, genius, genius. Magic wand brushes, genius. Lipsticks, love it. Magic mirror, headband, love it. Let me tell you though, the person who created Fiona's lipstick, pH changing makeup, kind of gimmicky, but also kind of fun, right? But the fact that Fiona has a lipstick that is green in the tube and transforms to a pinky shade when you put it on, give that person a raise. Put them in charge of something. Give them a, a corner office. Move them from their cubicle to an office with a window. I'm just, you know, they could work from home. I don't know. I'm just saying. Genius. Genius. If I saw that in store, I would buy it. I would pick it up. I would be like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Genius. So looking at this collection as a whole, I'm like too much absolute pass. Looking at the individual items, there are some real winners here. I, in one breath, they impress me and another, they disappoint me. Okay. We have a new rainbow palette from Morphe. This is the Morphe and Abby Roberts art cast collection inspired by rule breaking contemporary artists and bound blurring MUAs. All right, this collection is not for me. We've got a big rainbow palette. It does remind me of a palette that they collabed with with a, another creator who I can see why they maybe want to phase that palette out because you can look it up on your own. So maybe this will be a good replacement for that. Did you buy it? Let me know. Fashion Fair Lux Blush Duos, lightweight, medium coverage, cream and powder blushes. These look pretty. I've never tried the brand though, so let me know. Have you tried this brand? I know when they first like launched at Ulta, a lot, a lot, a lot of people were super into them. I did not purchase them, but if you did, let me know. These I'm going to grab up when I see in store. These are new Revlon Colorstay Suede Ink Lipsticks. $10 each. Brand new formula inspired by the Color Stay Satin Liquid Lipstick line, but with vitamin E and a primer and a matte finish. I am going to buy several of these. I want to know, is this formula good? Because this packaging is high end. Take these lipsticks, stick these on a Sephora end cap, and I'm going to be like, no, oh, yeah, those are probably like $18 to $22. The packaging, beautiful. Give them a raise. Give them a raise, Revlon. It looks great with the black on the bottom and the color on the top. I love it. These look great and the shades look amazing. There is like this red orange shade and I'm not so much always about the orange, but the Feed the Flame looks amazing. I'm looking at some of these mauve pinks, some of these grayish tones, purpley tones. I think this is fun. When I see these in store, I'm buying several because the colors call to me. Have you seen these in store? I have not. I actually went to Walmart a couple of days ago and I did not see these. Although I did find some other drugstore stuff that I bought and maybe or maybe not there's a video coming. LA Girls Holiday Collection is at Ulta and it's on sale. So I'll link it down below. This is totally not for me, but it does look like a pretty color story. A big neutral palette. It goes very light to very dark. So we've got the palette at full price, it's $18. We've got glitter toppers. And yeah, I don't I don't need any of this, but maybe you're into okay, it. Okay, last but not least, I almost forgot to talk about these because I was like, did we already talk about these? Uh, Give Beauty, I love their lipsticks so much. They're launching multi-dimensional glitter eyeshadows. Uh, ultra sparkly, loose glitter eyeshadow loaded with multifaceted crystal pigments for an eye-catching dimensional finish. I don't need these. When I buy things like this, I prefer to shop from smaller indie brands. I just think they have more interesting formulas, more interesting shifts and things. They are calling these an eyeshadow, so I'm assuming they're using eye-safe eye glitters. Yes, that does exist, but they're $24 each, so for me, it's a no. All right, y'all, that's all the new releases we have to talk about. I did film this eye look. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The video will be coming. First of all, how adorable is my necklace? I bought this from Air and Anchor. I saw it on Instagram and I was like, 
I have to buy this. It has a beetle. I, I mean, look, you see my scientific posters in the background. I love. We've got like the eye. We've got a crystal. I'm, I'm feeling it. I did film this eye look. This is the Warms My Blood palette though, in case you're curious. I already have a video with this, but y'all let me know in the video that you wanted more looks and... I wanted to create more looks. So it's a win-win for me and for you. <laughs> I'm wearing uh, some other unearthly stuff because I did film that look. I'm wearing Shy, uh, the powder blush from Unearthly. I already told you the highlight that I'm wearing. I'm wearing Sephora Rum Raisin Lip Liner with Unearthly Glint Gloss. The lashes are Lily Lashes Mykonos. Oh, and the Sephora sale is happening. I'm excited for that. It's coming up. I'm gonna shop. I'll definitely do a haul. I'll definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about it. But thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Remember, the best way to support your favorite creators is to engage with their content. Click on their videos, like their Instagram photos, like the video, comment. Even if you're like, I got nothing to say. When y'all comment emojis, I'm so thankful. I appreciate it so, so much. When you share my content, everything, I just, I'm so like, I, I love, I love filming and editing videos. I, I love the whole process. I love talking to y'all. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it. I hope whatever you're doing, you're having an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow in another video. Listen, subscribe because lots of new content coming. Bye.